Hi guys, I'm going to be sharing a story with you today called Hands by Lois Ellert. And it says, Growing Up to Be an Artist. This is a pretty cool book. It has a lot of like hidden surprises in it. Like right here, this little guy opens up. And it has the title of the book, Hands, Growing Up to Be an Artist by Lois Ellert. And you can see there's little screwdrivers. It's a little toolbox. And right over here, this book is dedicated to my mother and father. My father always works with his hands. He builds things in his workshop. The birdhouse. Let's see a better angle here. He measures with his ruler, marking the wood with a pencil. Then he measures again, just to be sure. He's picky. When I help, I try to do things like he does. He's showing me how to paint, pound nails, straight and saw wood. Ooh, look at that. My mother makes things too. Look at how beautiful. She has lots of colorful cloth, ribbons, lace, buttons, and thread. I watch her pin patterns to cloth, cutting carefully along the edges with her scissors. Look at all the different kinds of scissors. She has many scissors, big heavy ones and pointy little ones that fit my hand. She's teaching me to sew. Together we make cat toys. Today, look at this. Today, dad put up a folding table near mom's sewing machine. It's for me. So setting up a studio space, huh? <clears throat> now I have my own spot. I've got lots of good scraps from mom and dad. There are so many things I want to make. Here we go. I just finished this pot holder for our kitchen. Hmm. I wish I could stay here forever. But I hear mom and dad calling me. They need extra hands in the garden. Every year I help plant vegetable seeds. Ooh. There's some seed packets there. Mom grows flowers. She likes the bright colors. So do I. I'm good at weeding. Dad says I have sharp eyes that I see things other people miss. That painted paper. Ooh, it's a lift the flap one. When our flowers bloom, I'm going to paint a picture of them. Oh, this is upside down. I'll use every color in my paint box. Until then, I'll be working at my table because I know when I grow up, I want to be an artist. Then I'll join hands 
with my mom and dad. And that's the end. It's a pretty cool book. Looks like some of the things that we've used in our art room and some of the things that you might find laying around at home in junk drawers or in garages or sheds. Um, I'm going to share down in, uh, in the description or in the comments, I'm going to share a link to my um, to uh, videos that I've been creating for my students for e-learning. And one of them is about setting up our studio space. And so this kind of made me think of this, where she said that her uh, dad set up a table for her, just a folding table. That's actually what I'm using right now too. Since I'm teaching from home, I don't have my desk like at school. I have a card table set up in my the foyer of my house. And so maybe right now while we're at home, you could find a spot where you can set up a studio space and you can collect some scraps of things around uh, your house and use those to create your own art. So check out the video. I introduce a cool artist that um, shares her studio space with us. I share my studio space at home and uh, talk a little bit about some ideas for you to set up your own studio space. So uh, have a great day, everybody.